Hello everyone, welcome to GameTech UK and some more bus sim videos. I know a lot of you have been asking for more bus sim content on the channel and it's coming. So with the build up to the console release, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox, which we'll be talking about throughout this video, yeah, there will be more um, content coming. Um, and actually the last few videos that I've made have all been in the sandbox mode, um, showing you the brand new area, the bendy bus, the airport. Well, I'm going back to campaign mode. I've still got some work to do here and I've managed to unlock a bendy bus. So now we've got the bendy bus in the actual campaign. This is the one I'm gonna work on on today's video. 10 stops going from the main station agricultural, industrial and Port Amber. So let's get on with today's video. Right, so the first thing to do is set up a new route um, and it needs 10 stops, so two, four, six. It's only giving me seven, um, seven stops that I have to do so I can pick three optional ones. So main station, um, we're gonna go, we'll do two in the main station. Um, then we're gonna go to the agricultural zone, which is just over here. You want a minimum of, of two stops there. So we'll go, we'll go, we'll go three in that one. Now we're going to go over to the industry zone. Um, five, six, seven. And we're going to go to Port Amber. Um, eight, nine and 10. Now once you've made your route, um, your, your designated route, you have to um, drive it your first time with a driver. So I've assigned a driver and I've assigned a bendy bus as well. Um, so that's what we're going to do there. So we're going to go start trip. Um, we need to select the um, bendy bus, which is, where's my bendy bus? There it is there. So that's the one we're going to be using in this particular video. Uh, we, as I say, we have used the bendy bus in the sandbox, but this is the first time I've owned it in um, in campaign mode, so that would be cool. Right, we're just going to do a normal setting throughout the day. Um, let's get on and do the route for the first time. So here we are just coming out the station, and it really does... Look, look at the way it bends, actually. Oh, look, you can look at it from the top. That looks really cool. Look at, look at the way it bends. That's cool. Um, yeah, so this is the one we're going to be using, and I'm going to take you in this video uh, right from the actual station as well. In some videos, I start on the um, the first bus stop. I do like this drive going from the station. There's no there's no one on board. It's just me and you. There's no one on board, and I quite like it. The bus also, if you listen, I don't know if it's my imagination or not, but the bus sounds more echoey, more empty, more rattly than it does when you start getting passengers on. Um, but yeah. Um, that's fine, that's all safe. We're up for business. All right, so we've got 10 stops. So not a hugely long video. Um, also, I will be doing on, not this Friday, not in a couple of Fridays, um, I'm gonna be doing a four hour shift of Bus Sim live streaming, but that will be on Twitch. The link to that is in the first line of the description. So if you like my videos and you wanna come over and watch me play it live, and if you have got it on PC, you could even join my game if you want to. Um, you can be a conductor or you can drive around with me. Um, but yeah, in a couple of Fridays, I'm gonna be doing a four hour shift, um, eight o'clock in the evening till midnight. The night shift, we'll probably do it in, in, <laughs> in, a, in a nighttime setting as well. But we're gonna be doing the night shift. So if you're interested in that, um, follow me over on Twitch. The link is in the first line of the description. Right, we're coming up to our first, uh, one of our first bus stops. We got 10. Just gonna take our time, there's no rush. If it sounds like I've got a bit of a sore throat, which I have, it's killing me. I have just completed my 24 hour um, live stream, charity live stream. And if you did come across and um, join in the live stream and share it and donate yourself, thank you very much. Um, I, I raced um, Gran Turismo for 24 hours straight, um, literally straight, on the YouTube side of, uh, on, on YouTube. And we raised four thousand, uh, four, four and a half thousand pound. Um, for a children's charity, which was absolutely fantastic. So I'm still, <laughs> I'm still recovering. It, it's like I've woken up tired each morning so far, uh, but it's all worth it. But my throat, oh look at that coming through. My throat did, did take a hit. Talking for 24 hours. Now you know I can talk. I can talk. Oh my god. Um, and I did talk for 24 hours, so I'm still recovering from that a little bit. Oh, we ran a red light. Oh, man, that's what you get for rabbiting, you see. It's fine. It's safe. It's totally safe. So, a little while ago, someone someone uh, messaged me on Twitter, and, and this was at the very start of it. 
oh, bus sim's coming out on the 12th of on the 12th of June, is it? I'm like, mm, I don't think so. And then someone else messaged me. Someone else messaged me, and I was like, what's going on? I don't know about this. Um, and apparently, the PlayStation blog, um, some PlayStation blog website, um, released that it was coming out on the 12th of June. Um, wrongly, so a lot of people were expecting it to come out, and it literally, and now a lot of people are moaning because they feel like um, the release date has been set back, but the release date has never been set. They are finishing it. They do want to make sure, look at the length of that, they do want to make sure it's done properly. They are just working on the last few bits, and then it will be released. They're saying summer, so summer is June, July and August. Um, we're only at the end of June now, so there's still a couple of months to go. My guess is that it will come at the end of summer, which isn't a problem. We want it right. We want the steering wheel support in there. We want it all correct. Um, we're just going to have to wait. We're just going to have to wait. That's what we're going to have to do here. But you know I love playing bus sim. I love the environment. Look at this environment. Look. It's just, it's busy. It's convincing. Oh, look, we've got another bus there. Look at that. Look. Awesome. Time for me to go. So we're just going to take it wide. We are in a bendy bus. Oh my god! We're just going to take it wide and let the let the rear end follow us round, and then and then tuck in for this bus stop. Next stop, Carpenter's Gate, main station. Here we go. For some reason, I always like to go to this external view when I pull up to the bus uh, station. I don't know why. The bus stop. I just think it looks cool. I like the way the doors open. I like the way the AI walks onto the bus. I love it. Yeah, the detail in this game gets me every time. It's very, very cool. And I know it's going to be popular. I know a lot of you lads and ladies can't wait for this to come out on the console. I can't as well. It's going to be quite unique. There's nothing else like it, really. Same with Truck Driver. Um, for If we're talking purely about the console, it's going to... It, it's going to be um, it's going to be quite unique, isn't it? So now the way I set it up, do you remember we went to main uh, the main the main station, and then we had a bit of a drive, and I like that. I like that. I set up a video a little while ago where we set up a scenario going from the main um, the main business um, town, the main city, right down to the airport, and it was quite a long drive in between. I like the driving aspect. And I think I like it because the environment is is nice. I like the environment. I mean, look at this. Look. So you have to watch these corners. I mean, look at the top right wind uh, mirror. Yeah, you have to be careful up there. Right. Okay. So we've got another little roundabout. And you have to be careful of people. They they don't stop. Once I think I think what it is the AI is programmed that if they're on the roundabout, they will continue. Right, I'm going, I'm going. Whether they like it or not, I'm going. Being a bigger bus as well, it's quite slow to pull away. So we're coming round here. Scenery's lovely though, isn't it? I love it. Next right here. Watching, just taking it a little bit wide. If you watch the top right mirror, we don't want to hit that. That's fine. It's quite a big bus um, to take into consideration. I love this bridge as well. This is actually one of the favourite parts of uh, of the map for me. Look, it's, I've got my foot right down. You know, it's a heavy bus, so I like that. The way it, um, it responds to hills and stuff. We're fine. We're fine. Yep, we're, we're totally fine. <laughs> so quite a big bus to bring up here, but we should be able to fit a lot of passengers on there. So yeah, if you want to um, join in my four-hour um, bus shift, feel free to hit me up on Twitch. Hit me up on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch, whatever the terminology is at the moment, um, and come over there. I play lots of things. It's not only bus sim, of course. Um, it's not only bus, it, bus sim on the YouTube side. It is a variety channel, so let's let's go and have a little looky looky. 
Come on, let me out. Oh, I didn't press the button, did I? Donut. <laughs> Got to open my own things. I just wanted to go and have a look and see. Love a train. Absolutely love a train. Oh, better get back to the bus. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be two or three trains. Sometimes there is. It's fine. Everything, everything's fine. <laughs> you never saw nothing. You can hear the cows. It's quite a nice little touch, though, having the trains and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. Oh, there's more trains, look. <laughs> we'll have a look next time. But when there are little things like that in a video game, it just it just keeps that immersion level going, doesn't it? There's, you know, the idea is to make it feel like there's life on the map other than just you. And I love the way, I always say it, don't I? I love the way you can see different parts of the map. Like we're in quite the, the countryside bit, but you can see the city over there. And I think that's what attracts me to this game. And it looks lovely at night as well. I love playing it. This, it, this is one of my favourite games to play. And if you watch my bus sim video, you will know. You will know that's true. I always enjoy making these videos. And I know you say you enjoy watching them. And I get asked for them more and more and more. So all the work we've done making videos um, on the PC version. I'll be doing all that again when I get it on the PlayStation version. Um, and I will get it on the Xbox as well, so if any of you want to come in, that will be on controller because I haven't got a steering wheel for the Xbox, but I will if there's enough call, cool, if you let me know in the comments. If you are on Xbox and you'd like to join my multiplayer game, I'll get it on Xbox as well, it's not a problem. Right, okay, so we're coming up to our next set of um, bus stops. We're going to take it just wide on the left here, because again, look at the top right mirror, being a bendy bus, you don't, oh my god, oh, it's fine, it's fine. It's surprising how much you, you have to compensate for that. All aboard, we haven't had a customer yet. Any customers, or have you all got your, hey, yes sir, so you're single. Why are you single? You're a, oh, because you're senior. Um, there you go. That's it. You want loads of my change. Anyone got any change there? Two oh, and a twenty. Go and sit down. He's uh, he's out for the day on business. Regular. One of those. Everyone wants change today. Help a bus driver out. Fifty and eighty. There you go. And away we go. Always put the indicator on. You'll lose a little bit of XP if you um, if you don't put your. What do you mean? Oh, I don't like this. Look, a passenger needs to get off. Now I will um, I will lose XP if we don't let him off. But it's just seriously, you know. We've just done the bus stop. Get out. Look at him just taking his time. Yeah. God dear. Some people. I mean, you know. The life of a bus driver is hard enough as it is. It's hard enough as it is. Look at him, without a care in the world. Okay, so we're going up here and we've got a right. <coughs> yeah, don't hit any passengers, <laughs> any pedestrians. It's good advice. You'll get, you'll get massively fined. If, for example, um, like I say, you've got to do the first, the first run is like an example run as good as you can do it that's how good your driver is going to be when he um oh oh now this is a problem this is a problem oh okay it didn't work that time that's fine that's good what what i was going to say was if for example i was going around that corner and that pedestrian was walking and making their way onto the pedestrian crossing well if you're on that pedestrian crossing and they, they just walk into you and you get you get fined or, or um, lose enough XP that they say you hit a pedestrian but it didn't it didn't happen that time so maybe 
in the last update. I know there was quite a, a lot of improvements. Maybe they fixed that, because I didn't think that was fair. Well, for so Say, for example, you was in traffic, and just by chance it happens in real life, doesn't it? Some it. of your vehicle is on the zebra crossing. The customer, the pedestrian would walk, walk into you, and it would say, oh, you've hit a pedestrian, even though you were stationary. Hopefully they've sorted that out. Okay, so we need to do some selling. A single, a regular, and one of those. This little bug seems to still be here. The braking's sorted now, the braking's better. But can you see the overlay is is jumping? It needs sorting, because it's quite, it's off-putting. I don't like it. Um, so that, 50, 70, 80. That needs sorting. Hello, sweetheart. Um, you want a day, you're a student, and one of those. You're, a bit, you're up a bit early for a student, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> 250, you can have two fives. Yes, madam. You want a day. You're a regular. And one of those. Perfect. Yeah, so in the last update, there was quite a few um, bug fixes. So maybe that was one. I do find the traffic does annoy me sometimes. They just stop for no reason. I'm bibbing and I'm getting out and I'm threatening them. But they just won't move. Um, but hopefully that hopefully that will get sorted. Right, we're going to Sugar Mill next. Oh, this looks tight here, look. Look, we're gonna have to come. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out here. Oh, this is really tight. This is really tight. See, oh, this is why I like this bus. I used to like the little Sitaro, right, which was a very basic um, Mercedes bus, and it feels in this game looking back it feels just like driving a car you can chuck it around i like the bendy bus it's my favorite so far you can really you, you really have to compensate for it um and drive it like i imagine you would if you were taking this bus around um quite small oh that's fine it seems to be if you position that front and just 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 steer gently obviously the rear will just follow your line so you have to get that initial line and then just straighten it up and the rear just follows you nicely um, but it's challenging and we like a challenge in a video game don't we right we're going to the sugar mill same again we need to compensate and you do get the warning if you steer too much um, or keep that steering too much it says it will reset I've never had it re reset never so that's probably just a warning I'm sure you could turn that off I don't need to know that every time I turn a corner um, it can get a bit annoying keep popping up but it looks lovely doesn't it look at this look let's go from the outside we don't normally drive like this do we Look at that, look, yeah, wait. I'm a bendy bus. <laughs> I'm a bendy bus, mate. Yeah, we don't normally drive like this, do we? This is cool. Okay. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Look at that. I like that. There's some great views in here. And I love the way you can see all the passengers. I mean, the detail of the bus is is really really good That's what right I, call good service. I like to give good service madam right here we go now this bit oh, here someone lost something. oh here we go here we go they're always losing stuff this is actually a new addition in the latest update um, with the new DLC you don't need the DLC to make the most of this right I've left behind something valuable uh, where are they here she is look there you go madam you forgot it no problem no problem at all no problem. Oh, got to open the doors, look. So yeah, that was in the latest um, update. So they're always working on this game. Always. Actually, while here's we're here... Yeah, let's, let's just go... I don't want to sure. see your cat. Thank you very much, madam. That's it. And you as well. Where is it? Ah, yeah, here you and go. you... This one. Oh, he's dodgy, this one. I've, I've caught him loads of times. Look, mate. Have you got one? Here. Oh, he's learnt his lesson. See, a leopard can change its spots, as you can tell by these seats. <laughs> right, okay, you want a day ticket. You're a regular, and you want two of those. You're bringing along a fella. Two, four, uh, one, fifty, and sixty. There you go. 
let's go. So again, we've got a little bit of driving now before we go to... Um, oh, what was it? it? That's it, it was the harbour, wasn't it? And then we're going to go to Port Amber. Okay. Again, nice and easy curve. That's what we need. Nice radius. Yeah, so a lot of people uh, on my videos or on my uh, community tab have been complaining about waiting for bus sim and it does seem to be a common theme, doesn't it? We want it now. Even if it's not ready, we want it now so we can moan about it. I just think that, um, and I say this in lots of live streams, about truck driver as well. You know, these smaller developers, they do need some kudos, some brownie points for saying, no, it's going to be released when it's ready, you know? Rather than the triple A's, which just go, look, we've already set a date. Let's just get it out. Tell them features will come afterwards. Or, what is he thinking? And I got fined for that. That's um, that is unbelievable. You know, oh god, that is unbelievable. I don't believe. Let me out of here. This, what on earth do you think you're doing? I, I'm a bendy bus. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Can you see you have based it on? <laughs> Unbelievable though, isn't it? Seriously. No, 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 don't, no, don't run off. Don't, don't you dare run off. Come. <laughs> <coughs> that was unbelievable. I'm just driving along. He was the one on the wrong side of the road. And I get penalised for it. I'm not having that what I was saying was, is that yes, it is nice that they've sort of said, look, you know, and they know this is going to be popular, of course, people are going to buy this game, I think it's going to be a huge hit, um, but at the same time, they want to get it right, and we're just going to have to wait and be patient until it's out, yes, it was due out in, um, it w they did say it was coming out in, um, in spring, right. so, okay, spring has got come and gone, and they said now it's going to be in summer, at least they're giving us a free three month period, aren't they, and who knows, it might even be delayed, but I'm happy to wait until it's out, I want the game to work properly on console, I want the steering wheel to feel solid, I want it to work with many different types of steering wheels, um, I want the new DLC to be available, I want the graphics to look as good and not cut down in comparison to the version that I'm playing now. So, you know, that's all going to take time, isn't it? Right, coming out quite wide, but we don't want to hit this truck coming down, or this car, van, sorry, coming down. And we're on our way. But it's a fun little game, isn't it? And like I say, I'm going to do a four-hour shift um, live streaming it. And uh, I always have a mess about on the live streams. I can't wait for that. S playing this game, I could play it all day. I could literally do an eight-hour shift in this game easily. Um, and I've been playing it for quite a long time, haven't I? And I'm still not at the end of the campaign. And quite funnily, the new DLC... You, you, the new DLC and the new area, you can only access once in the main game once you finish the campaign. So the, if you buy the DLC, for example, the only way to play the DLC is to go to sandbox mode. So I want to get this campaign finished so we can open up the story behind the new area um, and do all the scenarios behind that. I'm hoping there's new buses coming. I have got a video to make very, very soon about their roadmap. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all good news on the bus in front and it will be in your consoles literally as soon as it's done. Right, okay, so we've got a little um, a little way to go here before our next one. I've quite enjoyed this scenario. Hopefully you have as well. There's going to be plenty more coming. I will do these on a regular basis and try and get one scenario, at least one, scenar at least one scenario out for you um, per week. That's what I'd like to do right up until... Um, right up until the release of the console version. If you are interested in that, please let me know in the comments below. You know I answer all my bus sim. Actually, you know I answer all my comments, um, but particularly the um, bus sim and the truck driver comments. I always enjoy getting involved in a conversation. Now, I don't want to go forward because if, for example, I go forward on that zebra crossing and these people walk on there, I'll get penalised as if I've hit them, even though I haven't. Right, you can let me go now. Come on, come on, come on. I'm, I'm, this is public transport. Yes, you're going to have to... 
Oh, he's not going to wait. <laughs> he's not going to wait. He's like, no, you have to wait. The AI is behaving today. They must know that I'm making a video. They're like, oh, Game Tech's making a video. Let's, let's behave. Let's wait until he's playing off camera and we will start automatically just stopping at imaginary places. It's fine. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Quite wide here. We don't want to hit that. Oh, it's quite close, isn't it? Plenty of people waiting here. Next stop, Harbor Distribution Center. So we're at Harbor Distribution. Doors wow. open. Perfect parking. Thank you. We haven't had any um, wheelchair users recently, have we? Okay, so Perfect. we're going to go a single, a regular, and one of those. 2, 4, 6, 7, 50, and 80. And the, uh, the AI traffic always stop for you, as you should do. If you ever see a bus pull out, they're on a timetable, time schedule. Let them out. Let them out. And that's what they do in this game. They let you out. You know, they they in in the in the scenario of the story, they're really really happy to finally have a bus um, service in the, this area. So all the cars, everyone just lets you out. It's great. But look at this area; it's fantastic, isn't it? I love the map, really really do. And I hope they continue um, expanding it. That would be fantastic. I don't think um, we're ever going to go to different scenarios, like go to an American scenario or, or uh, you know, come to London. It's always going to be based around this sort of fictional, oh, um, <laughs> this fictional European city, you know, looking very similar to what we've got here. But the scope for what they can do here is is amazing. They can just keep releasing DLC, hopefully not too expensive. Hopefully when they do release the uh, DLC each time there's a good amount of bus stops like the last um, the last DLC had I think three different areas in 20 bus stops it was fairly good value I would have liked and expected a couple of buses included in that um, DLC it didn't happen it was just the areas um, but the areas are great. I love the airport. I absolutely love it. And in the last video, I got out of the bus and had a walk around the uh, uh, the airport on foot. It's really, really detailed. I love what they've done. It's built in the Unreal Engine, so it's going to work really, really well on the console. We know the PlayStation particularly, and the Xbox loves um, the Unreal Engine. So many games we play are all built in the Unreal Engine now. It's such a great engine you got these things like people standing around, uh, chatting. I just think it's fantastic. It's very, very believable. Okay, so we've got another one up here. Yeah, you got forklifts. You know, it feels... It feels oh, busy, you know? Burrito, I'm going to come out just to the left of my lane. Just to make sure I don't clip that. That's fine. And we've got a bus stop here. Let's go to the outside view again. I enjoyed doing that. That was cool. Yeah, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? No, phone battery drained again. All aboard. See the the passengers wait as well. Yeah, he wants a ticket. Here we go. So you want a day ticket, a regular, and one of those. Two, three, fifty, seventy, and eighty, sir. Hello, madam. You want a day, you're a student, and one of those, two, four, fifty. Don't spend that on beer. Come on, go sit down. Single <laughs> on beer. <laughs> oh, that, honestly, there's going to be no change left for anyone that needs change. Seriously. Get the right money, it helps the bus drivers out. Right, here we go. Again, look, top left, they stopped. I've really enjoyed playing this actually, hopefully you've enjoyed watching the video. It's not over yet, it's not finished yet, there's plenty of times for calamity. There's plenty of times, plenty of time left. 
So maybe let me know in the comments your your favourite bit of this game. Is it the bus? Is it the environment? Is it the tasks that you're set with in this game? You know, like driving. I like. I personally like the short stops. Now I do play Euro Truck um, Simulator, and I like the long ones. I relish the idea of oh, let's pick a long one. This one's going to last about an hour. I love that. Saying that, in this game, oh god, here we go. Come on, hurry up. We've got we've got we've got things to do here. In this particular game, I like the the short stop start activity that you you go through as a bus driver in this game. Um, you're permanently very very short journeys you're doing tickets you're dealing with all sorts of things and I like that it's quite a busy game slow over these little um, speed humps otherwise you lose XP again they're having conversations you've got forklifts out hope the keys aren't left in that because uh, we don't want to see that driving around do we left up here Bit of graffiti up on the wall there. I mean, it's all... Oh, you drove into a pedestrian. Did I really, though? Oh, my God. Now, was that... <laughs> was that a situation that I spoke about earlier? Was they already on the crossing, or did they walk into me? Because I got to about here, didn't I? I got to about here. Or was it on this crossing? Hmm. I'm going to leave that bit in. <laughs> I'm going to leave that bit in so you can watch it back and let me know in the comments where I went wrong. Was it one of them situations where I did genuinely drive in? Oh, look, someone's in my bus stop. Come on, look. Out. Was it a case of... Um, did the pedestrian walk into my bus? Is it that situation? Or did I actually drive into them and just didn't see them because I was looking at the graffiti? I'm going to leave that bit in so you can let me know in the comments section. Not the best way to... If you're, you're driving this as an example. Yeah, you're driving this as an example for your driver that you've just hired. So the fact that I've basically mangled someone under the wheels of my bendy bus, he's like, he, he's thinking... That, is that all right? Is it? Is that how you do it? Okay, we've got a couple of more stops. Hopefully, we don't kill anyone. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, again, over to the left because we've got perfect. <laughs> Look at me, perfect. I've still got bits of people all over the bus on the underside of the bus. It's fine. I like this bit down here with all the containers. I think it looks fantastic. Quite a clever way of hiding pop-up as well. And I'm off. Nice, enjoy your weekend. Oh, oh. Look at the cranes and everything. That's great, doesn't it? Okay, next bus stop coming up. Can't believe I run someone over. A huge fine as well. <laughs> Absolutely huge fine. There's no point cutting it out. I'm not going to cut that out. Here we go. We've got to have a bit of drama in a Game Tech Bus Sim video, haven't we? It's, it's, it's about drama. Regular one of those. Two, four, six, seven, fifty, seventy, and eighty, madam. You have come to the right place. It's really noisy out there. Oh my god, the industry is just so noisy, isn't it? Um, yeah, you can have loads of fives. There you go. Let's get out of it. It just sounds too much like hard work around here, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's get back to the tranquility of the trains and the cows. Next stop, Harbour. Pier 3. Last stop. Last stop, everyone. Last stop. She's so hungry. Well, I'm sure there's a cafe or, you know, so you'd get a hot dog down here, wouldn't you? It, it's a working man's area. And ladies, working person's area down here. So I'm sure there'd be a burger van or something. Hot dog van. Oh, I could do with a hot dog. With onions, tomato sauce, no mustard. Hold the mustard, as they say. Right, here we go. Never have mustard. What's it? What is she doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Did you catch the concert last night at the old sauna? Brilliant. The band seemed to be just sleepwalking their way through it. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant. <laughs> she was just casually on the outside of the bus. Good job it's not raining. Oh my god. <laughs> we got some rubbish to clear up. Why can't people leave, just pick up their rubbish when they're sitting on the outside of the bus? <laughs> right, we're not going to scroll through and um, have a look at all my... Yeah, two collisions! Ran a red light. Okay, there's nothing about killing anyone here. We ran a red light and we had two collisions. Okay, it's for Oh, hit a pedestrian. <laughs> we hit a pedestrian. It's fine. Let me know in the comments what what you what you. Let me know in the comments what you think happened there. But that is it, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Very cool. You got the uh, control tower up there. Lots of adv advertisement boards as you would have. Yeah, this is cool. Different terminals, that's terminal 3 by the looks of it.